Hello folks, Cecil Pearson Jr. here. Um, in my videos about heaven and hell, uh, I made the statement that there was some things I wasn't allowed to talk about. And it was all I could tell you at this point. Um, I was shown something and I'm allowed to talk about that now. And here's how. One of, one of the subscribers, one of the people who have watched my Heaven and Hell video had no idea, and neither did I, that they were playing an intricate part <clears throat> in the master plan of God, but this is how it all works out. I was told when 7,000 go into the water that I will know revival is at hand. Guy messaged me on Facebook yesterday and he told me that 7,000 people had been baptized <clears throat> in this big revival that they're running over in Texas. 7,000 people went into the water. Folks, I lived long enough to see the beginning of the great revival. Now, the Bible tells us in his last days that he will pour out his spirit upon us, and God has shown me how he's going to do that. And it's going to be through revival. Young people are going to start dreaming dreams and having visions. These are things that are going to happen. God has shown this to me back in 1985 when I was 18 years old and died on that operating table. This is how long I have been carrying what I saw with my mouth shut. God is going to pour out His Spirit upon the earth there's going to be a great revival. <clears throat> and while a lot of people don't want to admit it, part of that revival is taking place right now in states rising up and standing up for the unborn. Christians are beginning to come together. See, that's a thing that a lot of people don't understand is if Christians came together and prayed for something all in one voice like they did on the day of Pentecost. Wow, what a movement that would take place. But unfortunately, <clears throat> a, lot of, a lot of churches want to do things by committee. And Mark Lowry, he, he's a funny guy. He said that a camel is nothing but a horse built by a Baptist committee. I can believe it. Um, you know, it was a joke, but <clears throat> I understand his meaning behind it. You can't get two people together to agree on anything, much less five, six thousand people all in one voice agreeing on something. And unless we want to see this world go away as we know it, we're going to have to come together as Christians, not as Baptists, not as Pentecostals, not as Methodists, not as Seventh-day Adventists, or any other religion that's out there. We all going to have to come together as Christians, followers of Christ, in one voice, at one time, all around the world, and cry out to God for what we need to happen. Now, God has shown me this is the beginning of the great revival. The miracles that you have seen are only the beginning of what is to come. Now, I can tell you it is the beginning of the great revival. I'm not allowed to tell you everything that I saw, not at this point. Um, so please don't Email me or Facebook message me asking me to tell you what else I saw. I'm going to simply ignore and delete it because I'm telling you in the video I'm not going to disclose it. Not until the next sign comes that I'm allowed to talk about. When it comes, then I'll talk again about what I saw in heaven and hell. The 7,000 going into the water is the beginning of the great revival. So know that, know that we are now at the beginning of the great revival. And folks, I'm so happy I was able to live to see the beginning 
of God's Spirit starting to move on this earth like it did many, 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 many years ago. It is such a wonderful thing. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the little bell notification down there so you know when I give you a, a new video. And uh, before I go, there'll be a link down there. No, I'm not asking you for money. Mm -mm. But some people asked me to put a link up where they could support the ministry and help support my family if they wanted to. I'm not asking for a penny, but there have been about, I don't know, 300 people asked me to put a link up. So I've, I've made, made a link and I've put it up down there where if you want to support the ministry, if you want to support the family, we greatly appreciate it. We're not asking for it, but if you want to, we appreciate it. The link will be down there in the comment section. I love you, but not as much as God. And know this. I'm praying for each and every one of you.